What's up everyone? This is me, Sean, and welcome back to Mantis Mad World Rebooted. Now, in this video, I am going to be starting a project, basically. What I want to do for a base is not uh, going to the side of this mountain, although I am probably going to put some things down here. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to make a nice floating island, a pretty big one too, not just like a little small one. So, I'm going to get started on that today. I don't know how long it's going to take me to do it, uh, so yeah, there's that, and there's also a Tinker's Construct smeltery that I must build. So, we are going to do both of those things today and probably get some slime trees from up there. So, yeah, now I've gone off camera and I've collected some, not a lot, but some cobblestone to smelt up into stone, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that, I'm going to smelt uh, my cobblestone up into stone, and we will get started. All right, guys, I have smelted up all the stone I could, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started here. But I stepped out outside the, uh, the door real quick, and there was a creeper, and it went hiss, but it didn't go boom. So let's try to uh, let's try to kill it. All right, die. Hujiba. No, 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 no. Those are my cows. My, my, no. My cows. There we go. All right, he's dead. He's done for. All right. So let's go ahead and let's get started with the island building. Now, um, I don't think I'm going to record most of it because it's probably going to be pretty boring. But I will put together a more sped up sort of montage version of it. So, yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and uh, interject here. And, yeah, I guess I'm going to start... All right, guys. Well, I am at least done with the basic structure of the island. But as you can see, there's there's something a little bit different about this one. Maybe it's the fact that it doesn't have grass on it. Now, I just realized this like after I built it. I didn't actually realize it beforehand, but I have really no way of getting grass up here. So it's going to be like Etho's Chocolate Island for a little bit. So, yeah. But for the rest of the video, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and get started with Tinker's Construct. So, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And on top of that, I now have a place to put it, which is up here, if you if you couldn't tell. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go down and start collecting some materials for Tinker's Construct, which includes uh, gravel, sand, and clay. And that's it. So, yeah, I'm just going to run around and collect a little bit of that stuff, and then we will get started. All right, guys. Well, I have got myself some grout. I crafted it up, and I am now smelting it, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So, I'm going to leave it just be for a second. 
But I wanted to go ahead and just show you guys what I'm going to be doing. And yeah, I also need to sleep. So, let's do that. <laughs> okay. So, what I'm going to be doing up at the island is I'm going to basically make myself a Tinker's Construct smeltery, which needs a lot of these guys, these seared bricks. It needs a smeltery controller, a seared tank. What, what else? You need a faucet. A casting table, a casting basin, and the smeltery drain. And yeah, I don't know what these two do, honestly. What is that? A seared furnace controller. I don't know what that is. Maybe they added something new. Huh. Okay. But for now, that's all I'm going to do is I, I need a bunch of these guys. I need this guy, this guy, and this guy, and these two guys. And this one guy. <laughs> so I need a lot. So, I'm just going to craft it, and I guess I will fast forward through all the smelting and the crafting and all the boring stuff. So, yeah, I'll see you guys on the other side. All right, guys, I have collected the materials that I need to go ahead and make myself a nice Tinker's Construct uh, smeltery, I think it's called. So, yeah, let's go ahead and let's get started. So we're going to need a 3x3 three three to put the base in. So, so I think about here is the middle of it, roughly. Not exactly, but roughly. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick the smeltery right here in the middle. And then I'm going to collect all that dirt because I need the dirt. Okay, alright, so let's just go ahead and do this and put all the bricks under there. Okay, and then I need at least one layer of these, uh, uh, whatever, seared bricks around, and I do not have enough. How do I not have enough? Oh my gosh, okay, I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys, I went down and I crafted myself some more of these, so let's go ahead and keep on placing them. So I need at least one level of just seared bricks. And then I need enough to fill up the spaces on the top as well. So, let's go ahead and let's start putting these guys down. So, let's see, I have a smeltery controller here. I have a seared tank, which I'm going to put the lava in. And I have a smeltery drain. So, how much more do I need? I need, uh, what, one, two, three, four, five more blocks to finish it. Oh my gosh. And you also stick the, uh, the faucet on this guy. And then you put these guys below it. Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! I gotta go get more! <laughs> I thought like two and a half stacks would be enough, but no, it's not! <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll be back again. Okay guys, this better be enough. Which it is. So let's go ahead, let's place the last few blocks, and that should be it. I should now have a smeltery, yes. Alright, so the capacity is 144 ingots, and it's free 144 ingots. So none of it's been used. So let's also see if I can uh, build this up. How many would I need? I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, I'm one block short. No, I'm one brick. One brick short. Oh. Oh no. Well, yeah, I'll I'll do that later. So, yeah, we do have a smeltery now, which is very nice, very nice. So, now all I need to do is I need to bring my ores from down there all the way up here and put them in like some chests or something. So, I am going to do that. I'm going to bring you guys along this time instead of just, you know, not bringing you guys along, I guess. So, yeah, let's also make a couple chests here, because I can. Boop. And boop. Thank you very much. And I'll stick the chest somewhere like... Eh, here. And here. There we go. Symmetry for the win. Okay, let's also take you back. And, yeah, I'll find a place for you in a second, crafting station. Actually, I'll just stick you there or something, so it's just out of the way. Alright. 
It is time to now go downstairs and get all the ores and smelt all the ores in there. So let's do that. Okay, it's time to go to sleep so no monsters come and eat my face. Where can I put my bed? I'm just gonna get to the bottom of the mountain and put my bed down. How about that? And boop and boop. There we go. No monsters today. Boop. Oh, that's a blueberry bush. Where did I get blueberries from? I don't remember grabbing those. Okay, sweet. So, yeah, I came down to grab the ores. Okay, that's what I did. All right. Where are they? What ores do I have? I have copper. I have aluminum, which is going to be very good, actually. And what else? Is that it? <laughs> I, th I already smelted my iron. And tin. Forgot about the tin. Is that it? I think that is it. All right, whatever. Let's just go ahead and go upstairs. Okay, guys. I am back up here. And yeah, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to actually stick a couple of these guys in the smeltery. But first, I must put the lava buckets in so that you know it has fuel to melt the stuff down with. So, let's first stick in the aluminum. And that's going very fast. Holy crap. Okay, I have one block and five ingots, which... Oh! Oh, I forgot I can't cast the ingots right now because I don't have gold to make certain casts with. Forgot about that. So... Basically, uh, I can't, I can't really do anything effective with this mod until I get some gold, because if I do, hold on, at, where's the at, at, tinkers, alright, if I do that and we go one or two pages down, you can see that these casts are stuff, you know, you need to make metal tools and stuff like that, so basically to make these casts, what you need to do, is you need to have gold, and you need to pour it onto the cat, the uh, yeah, the casting table. I think that's what it's called. So yeah, or you can do molten brass. Apparently, uh, yeah, that's probably uh, not something I can make anyway. Uh, how do you make that? Actually, brass dust or a small pile of brass. How do you get brass d uh, dust? Yeah, boop it, boop it, boop it, boop it, boop it, boop. Well, apparently no other way than crushing it up. Okay. How do you how do you make brass though? And then you have clay cast, which you can use. Oh, sweet. So you don't Oh, okay. I see. I see. So what it's telling me right now is that you can make clay casts, but it only you can only use the clay cast once. I think it's what it's telling me. So that is actually, it's good for now because I can actually make a pickaxe, which is going to be huge. So let's go ahead and let's get started on the pickaxe. Okay, so basically if I go to the pickaxes, where are they? If And if I click one, I think I can see. I cannot see actually. Okay, scratch that. First, before we make a pickaxe, you need to, you know, get a couple things, you know. So let's go ahead and let's actually keep with that. And... Let's craft all these things, because you're going to need all of it, except for the tool forge, which I probably cannot craft right now. So, everything from this tool station uh, down to this stencil table, I need to create so that I can make stencils so that I can pour casts. So let's go ahead and let's get into that. I will explain it as I go, because I honestly have no clue how to explain it without just going. So, yeah, let's do it. You're first going to need some blank patterns, and we're going to need a lot of those. So let's just craft some of those, and let's hold on. Got to do, got to do that. There we go. Let's just uh, get those precious FPS back. All right, we're going to take that and do that. Actually, I need some more of these guys. We're going to do that and not that. Okay, we're just going to make a few of these planks. We're going to. Do that and that, and then now we're going to have plenty of blank patterns for now. And now the first thing that I'm going to make is, I think this is the stencil table, yes. And then the tool station. The part builder, sorry. And how do you make the tool station? Boom. You need a crafting table. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's make that real quickly. Alright, you make a crafting table. And then you put a blank pattern, and there we go, we have a tool station. So now we have all uh, three of these parts, or actually all four of them, since the crafting station is one of them. So let's put down the stencil table, let's skip a space, let's put down the parts builder, 
and the tool station. Yeah, that's what it's called. Okay, let's also delete this because for some reason it makes my game run awful. Okay, so now I think we just need a pattern chest, which I believe you make with a chest, and a stencil. So let's just do that and that. And now we have a pattern chest in which to store the stencils, I think, right? Yeah, okay. So, now we need to make certain stencils. And to make certain stencils, you're going to need this stencil table. So, let's go into it. So, as you can see, we have a lot of different things we can make a, a, a pattern Sorry, into. So, we have a pickaxe head here. For one, we have a binder or a binding pattern. And then we have a tool rod. Now, you need all three of those for a basic pickaxe. So, let's make those, you know? Let's make a stencil for a pickaxe head. Let's make a stencil for a... Sorry, a binding. And let's make a stencil for the tool rod. Boom! Now, what we're gonna need is we're gonna need some clay up here. So, I should actually go get that right now, because I'm going to need it. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to get a basic material such as cobblestone, and you're going to make these parts out of cobblestone. Basically, why you want to do that, you want to do that so that you can go ahead and take said stone part, stick it in here, and then pour the cast around it. So that you don't just, you know, come up with a blank cast. So let's go ahead and let's do that. So, how you make these parts is you put the stencil in here, and you take some cobblestone, and you put it in there until it shows up over here, and then you just make it. Okay, so now we have a stone tool rod, and it says cheap. Why, thank you, stone tool rod. Okay, what else? We got the binding, which takes a, yeah, one material, which would be one piece of cobblestone. And then we have a pickaxe head, which takes two cobblestones. There's one, two. And now we have... All the parts to put together a pickaxe, but we're not going to, you know, make the pickaxe out of stone. <laughs> we're not going to do that. We're going to make the pickaxe out of iron. So I brought some iron and I'm going to stick it some, not all of it. I'm going to stick some iron in the smeltery. All right. So, yeah, now let's go ahead and let's make the cast. So let's stick the stone tool rod in there. And again, the way you do it is you click the clay to move it to the bottom and you go ahead and you do that. And you let it dry, it's almost dry, not really. Okay, and what it does is it destroys what's in the center, but it gives you a clay cast. Now, these these uh, casts don't really last forever, so... Yeah, I think it said it's a one-use cast, but the gold casts do last forever, so that's why you probably want to make a gold cast instead of a clay cast, but I have no gold uh, yet, so I'm just going to use... Uh, clay for now. Let's go ahead. Let's make a clay pickaxe cast. And we gotta wait for that to dry. Boom. All right. And then last but not least, I need to make a stone or a, just a binding cast. Sorry, not a stone binding cast. And then after that, I'll be able to use the iron to make myself an iron pickaxe. Now, the reason I want to make an iron pickaxe with Tinker's Construct is so that I can add certain modifiers to it. So, yeah, that's going to be good. So let's go ahead and let's move the iron down. And let's make an iron tool rod. So now the cast is going to disappear probably. Yep. And now we have an iron tool rod. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and stick the binding cast into there and make a, a iron binding. Boom. And then last but not least, an iron pickaxe head is going to be the last thing I do. Or I put in there. Whatever. All right, very, very nice. So now, after you have all the parts to your pickaxe or whatever tool you want to make, you're going to go into the tool station, you're going to click on the tool you want to make, and then you're going to assemble it there. If you want to make it have a cool name or something, you can go ahead and type it up here. So let's go ahead and call it the Flubadub. There, Flubadub. Now, we have the flub dub which is an iron pickaxe that has no modifiers currently, but it can have, I think, yeah, it can have one modifier. I thought it could have more modifiers than that, but really the only modifier I want on this one right now 
is I want auto repair. So to make the auto repair, one you need, let's see what you need. Uh, you need a moss ball, I think it's called. Yes. All right. So to make an auto repair thinking, oh no. Oh, it's not just the ball of moss anymore. I forgot. Oh crap. <laughs> Uh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's going to be a problem. Okay, well, I guess I can't put that modifier on now. Oh, that sucks. So, it looks like I'm not going to be able to do the modifier right now. Oh, well, I guess. Well, guys, I think that's all the time I have for this video. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and that big old red subscribe button if you are new. And yeah, in the next video, I think I'm going to figure out how to get up and down from this island a lot quicker than just stacking up with a pillar of dirt. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.